superb medical services for people. Research for the benefit of society. Medical technology for the world. Korea University Medicine has played a key role in advancing the health and happiness of humankind. With its creativity and advanced medical technology, KU Medicine is forging a path to the future. KU Medicine is focused on research into 10 key technologies which will further advance the frontiers of global medicine and in the process extend KU's influence beyond Korea. KU Medicine will help create the future that has only been dreamed of in science fiction. In the future, cancer diagnosis will become more precise thanks to genome analysis. Through next-generation sequencing panels and liquid biopsy platforms, developed by combining the advantages of existing systems, genome analysis can be performed more easily and quickly than ever before. The genome information of individuals, their family history, and their lifestyles are entered into a database so that big data AI analysis can be done. In addition, preventive treatments and personalized medicine are made possible by the simultaneous combination and classification of various clinical data. KU Medicine is a leader in cancer precision diagnosis and treatment making it easier and faster than ever. In the hyper-connected and intelligent age of the fourth industrial revolution, precision medicine systems are undergoing major changes. Cloud hospital information systems are comprised of big data cloud platforms that process patients' genetic, clinical, and personal health records and employ this data in the diagnostic process. These cloud platforms allow hospitals to easily exchange information and to perform diagnoses and give customized treatment more rapidly. Through synchronization with mobile devices, these platforms support preventive healthcare and post-treatment real-time monitoring. Innovative medical services based on new developments in medical knowledge will be delivered over these platforms the key to a better future in the era of the fourth industrial revolution lies in cloud hospital information systems. The average time frame of new drug development up to the completion of clinical trials is 10 to 15 years and the costs amount to more than 1 trillion won. Identifying and developing new drug candidates involves significant time and cost. AI deep learning technology which collates academic papers and clinical information and systematizes this material in the form of big data, enables the identification of new drug candidates based on the calculation of their chemical formula. The recommended candidates are verified using organ-on-a-chip technology and tested for safety, allowing new drugs to be developed at lower cost and over a shorter period of time. Designated as a national research-oriented hospital in Korea, KU Medicine has joined the ranks of institutions which are renowned in the field of AI-based new drug development, including those in the United States, Japan, and the United Kingdom. To this point, cancer has been diagnosed by performing tissue biopsies on suspicious areas of the body. However, this process may lead to different results due to the heterogeneity of tumor cells, and patients may find a biopsy, which is an invasive technique, uncomfortable. Recently, one potential solution that has attracted intense interest is the liquid biopsy. A liquid biopsy involves the precise analysis of the DNA, RNA, and proteins of a blood sample, and enhances clinical usefulness. Because it is non-invasive, multiple liquid biopsies can be performed without causing pain or adverse effects, unlike invasive tissue biopsies. As such, it is also useful in the diagnosis of diseases other than cancer and in tracking cell mutations. In the future, liquid biopsy technology will allow periodic tests for cancer and other diseases, even without requiring patients to visit the hospital. 
The examination of human DNA information and the analysis of cells are common methods of identifying the causes of various diseases. More recently, imbalances in the gut microbiome have emerged as a key factor which contributes to diseases. Changes in lifestyles or the environment lead to an imbalanced gut microbiome, increasing the risk of atopic dermatitis, enteritis, obesity, diabetes, and mental illness. Research on such diseases should focus on the symbiotic interactions of the microbiome with the body as a whole. KU Medicine will conduct human microbiome research with the aim of maintaining gut health and preventing related diseases. This will lead to treatments which deal with the fundamental causes of the imbalanced gut microbiomes caused by inadequate diets and the excessive use of antibiotics. Gene Scissors or CRISPR scissors, alters strands of DNA to prevent the progression of genetic diseases. It is comprised of strands of RNA and the CRISPR-Cas9 enzyme. The scissors recognizes a strand of DNA which has the same guide RNA, and the Cas9 enzyme cuts this DNA strand. The DNA self-repairs, or if required, normal DNA is inserted into the sequence in order to complete the treatment. Gene Scissors technology will pave the way to curing previously fatal diseases such as cancer, AIDS, and genetic diseases. In the future, the editing of genes in fetuses is expected to be highly effective in preventing and diagnosing diseases. Human organs are not easily replaceable and individuals vary in terms of their physical constitution. As such, there are limits to the possible extent of clinical drug monitoring involving human subjects. One solution is organ-on-a-chip, which is a technique derived from semiconductor manufacturing. The chips help to identify patient drug responses and absorption rates. Organs on chips enable data on various organs to be compiled and for the disease cells of patients to be transferred to a chip system to create patients on chips. Personalized treatments can be easily derived by testing drug responses with patient-on-a-chip technology. These cell culture chips not only resolve the ethical issues involved in the use of lab animals, but also reduce diagnosis and treatment time and cost, revolutionizing the future of medicine. 3D printing technology is currently being applied to the field of medicine and healthcare. Personalized artificial organs, which are free of adverse reactions, can be created using advanced printing technology through the use of bio-inks, such as cells and growth factors. Authentic or natural body parts, such as the ears and the nose, are created for reconstructive surgery, thereby speeding up recovery and enhancing patient satisfaction. Recently, researchers succeeded in the 3D printing of blood vessels and liver for mice. KU Medicine is conducting 3D printing research with the goal of performing cranial implants for patients with damaged skulls. 3D organ printing, through which customized organs are created without the need for donors, is another innovative technology of the medicine of the future. Iron Man comes to life in hospitals. Previously, robots were merely machines that performed repetitive or dangerous tasks in the place of humans. Now, smarter and more precise than ever, robots provide valuable services for people and enhance our capabilities as we go about our daily lives. In the emerging future, soft actuators based on new functional materials will be developed. New technology will facilitate the development of light, flexible, wearable robotic devices instead of those with hard and heavy exteriors. AI-equipped wearable soft robots connected to surrounding devices will open new possibilities, including surgical AI robots, which can perform more precise operations robotic gowns or gloves to assist in medical diagnosis, soft rehab robots to be worn by patients, 
and muscular enhancement suits for patient transport. The integration of advanced robotics and medical technology will expand the horizons of human possibility. KU Medicine will usher in a new age of robotic augmentation. The brain is the most mysterious organ in the human body, and the capacity to edit the memories held there will bring about significant changes in our lives. In the United States, VR technology has been used to reduce the war-related trauma suffered by soldiers. In a recent study, short-term memories were converted into long-term memories through the application of electrical stimulation to the hippocampus. Scientists have also succeeded in transferring fear memories between snails by injecting RNA into the snail brain. Memory editing technology, which selectively deletes and restores memories, will drive innovation in the field of neurorehabilitation and help to treat amnesia. It will broaden the realm of neuroscience, opening the door to a world of new experiences. Analyzing the past and predicting the future through the use of big data and AI. Saving time and money, providing optimized treatment at minimal risk to patients. In these ways, KU Medicine is creating a smarter reality. Korea University Medicine.